Hey YouTube, this is Gary from Honeybees Unlimited. It's been a while since uh, I've chatted with you guys. Uh, I just want to let you know we got all the bees back from California now. Nothing got left behind. Uh, we did lose uh, one pallet of flooding. It was just completely muddy. But we had some that had flooding damage, but um, the bees were still good up in the top box. So once we got all the bonobos out of there and cleaned up, they started turning around and thriving. So first truck was a little light on brood. Um, they didn't get many days to build up, but the second truck was on the almonds a lot longer. So they um, they definitely had time and we had the um, you know that almond effect benefit to the bees. We've had some really strong ones. So. Today I'm just uh, preparing for splits. I'm getting, um, I want to reset the hives and I want to get three frames of brood underneath the excluder with the queen in the bottom box. And then anything else up top, I'll give them two resources and then frames. And then tomorrow we'll have a crew come through and they'll pull um, pull splits. So here we go. We're going to go inside this hive here. And, uh, take a look. Looking bees. So we don't want to. Probably going to end up shaking them all, so I'm just going to get them off the lid. Most of the bees are up, and the brood is in the top. So I'll usually start, and they're light and eat some food. So this is the almond effect. These bees come back full. This is why we do it every year, because the almond. So good. It's great for them. So this one looks pretty clean, but we want to use this opportunity to clean the bottom boards, get anything out. As you can see here, there's still some uh, almond blooms. And this will pull. So since the brood's usually in the top. I'll bring the top to the bottom. Cause I want to reset these because in about three or four weeks we're going to pull from them again. So I'm going to go to have uh, two resource frames to start up here. That's going to be a signal to whoever's making the split where to start. Checking no fruit. I'm going to shake it down. One resource. Two resources. While I'm in here, these bees are very light. So we're going to come back and feed them after we do this. Lot of time but if I find her that'd be great so that's a resource frame we're going there we're still getting cold at night so I want to keep on the outside so there's one brood don't see any swarm cells don't see the queen so we're gonna leave that one brood down there there's a second brood don't see a queen so there's two Three, she's getting a little spotty, but still producing good brood. So we didn't see her. Quick check. Don't see it. Now we got enough. There, there's the queen right there. So we're gonna encourage her. There she goes down into the box. All right, so now we don't have to shake these. So now we know she's there. We want to keep her in the bottom box under the excluder. We've got enough fruit. So that's a resource frame. So these two are brewed. That's going to signal to the other guys where the brew starts. I don't want to see there's any more brood in this top box. I think they've run out of resources. You know, some of these, the really strong ones came back. It's like they 
we're building and then they just completely stalled out. But yeah, that was all the brood. There's only like two extra frames of brood, so not as good as we hoped on that one. But we'll get them. Now that we got them back, we'll get them reset. They've been treated for mites. We'll get them fed and start producing brood again. And so now, we're just going to come back. Queen's down below, so we'll keep them under the excluder. If we hadn't have found the, the queen, we would have shaken all these bees down there. But just taking a little bit of time to find her really speeds up the process. All right, and they're ready. So we'll let those equalize overnight, and then tomorrow we're gonna pull pull a nook out of the top, replace the comb, feed him with uh, pollen substitute and with um, syrup, and uh, let him. Come back again in three weeks and, and take some more brood again. Okay, so it's the next day and uh, ready to pull this brood for some splits, make some gesture boxes, some single, uh, basically three frames. So Joey's gonna grab in here because the way we got it set up was we put two resource frames by that feeder. She's just going to be able to pull brood real fast. Take it over here. She's going to do that. Two more. And, then, and, and can I stop you here, Jody? Now this is a good time to grab that frame, it's a resource, and shake those bees into that box. Okay. While you, while you can shake them, you know there's a cavity still in there. Got it. So you can shake them off. And then, then they'll, maybe they'll stay on that frame. Because you you got one frame in, so it's a good time to shake. Okay. Yeah, go shake them in there. So that the queen is under the excluder, just like we were just showing you. And we got brute. Y'all get it down in that hole get it down in the hole that yeah that's why I said it. put the down way down yeah then yeah so they stay in there instead of Got shaking it. them out okay good all right so she's gonna put that back and grab two more brood frames Close it up and we'll move them out and put a uh, queen cell in there tomorrow and let it mate. We're going to leave these under the excluder and once we're done, we'll go back today, pull the excluder, add comb, feed them, treat them with teramycin because we're still seeing a little bit of foul brood and uh, reset them and we'll pull from them again in about three weeks. Thanks, Jody. Thank you. It's Easter Sunday. It's been a good week. We were able to get through all of our hives and make our initial splits. So now we've got some time for them to build up again. And uh, we were lucky enough I was able to give everyone the day off. So I'm here today. I'm gonna check the feed on our um, queen cell starters and, and finishers. And uh, we'll get ready to do it again next week. We need to start feeding again and uh, probably start maybe even getting some hives out. Um, real excited, all these splits we made last week. Um, I need to go count up. We probably made 
three or four hundred um so sorry about that still seeing a lot of drones so <laughs> looking forward to watching drones disappear this week hopefully we'll be getting some some queen's bread but yeah it's nice uh, easter sunday here things turned out all right we didn't get uh too many losses uh out in california had a few had a few that were flooded out but but nothing major and that second load actually looked like they had some days to fly on the almonds so they did really well anyways i know it's been a while since i've updated we've been super busy uh i'll try and get more videos out um hope y'all like and subscribe um thanks for watching and uh thanks for tuning in